The Transition Committee announced some additional task forces. This includes a team working to better utilize government data and another to reform the current government structure. The committee also struck down speculation that the new administration plans to close down the Unification Ministry. Kim do tells us more. Three task forces were created on Wednesday for President-elect Yoon sung yeols Transition Committee. One on digital platform government, another on government structure reforms, and one on the real estate market. Of these, the task force on digital platform government is a team of 10, including civilian ICT experts who work on plans for a cross-ministry platform that will provide convenient ways to use government data for the benefit of the people. Because this is a task under President-elect Yoon's philosophy on public administration, it's regarded as a core project for the committee. It began with the idea that the data the government has in each department all belongs to the public and is fundamentally owned by the people. It'll be a long process, but the committee's ultimate goal is to integrate the public data the government has by making it open and linking it. Once things start coming into place, the spokesperson says, for example, pharmacies, will be able to dispense medicine with no need for a paper prescription. It'll all be in the system. As for the task force on government structure reform, one key issue was whether the government will keep the unification ministry. There will be no abolishing of the unification ministry. The committee was not looking into closing it, but rather considering specific measures to restore the ministry's unique role. The ministry's unique role is in inter-Korean exchanges as well as its humanitarian efforts. Such question arose because in the past, former conservative President Lee myung bak had sought to abolish the ministry and the current chair of the party, Lee jun sok also questioned the role of the ministry last year. Striking down such speculation, the spokesperson added that the new administration will seek to give the unification ministry more autonomy. The ministry briefed on news transition committee on Wednesday afternoon. And while speculation had been going around, it's considered most likely that the briefing covered from vaccine support for North Korea to the regime's recent missile launches. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.